This is the Brush Turkey B-Roll. Rarely ever have I put a B-Roll up of the rubbish that I've shot for a YouTube video, but looking at can the Brush Turkey generated a lot of video. Sometimes in the original video I spoke over things where it's sometimes nicer to listen to the natural background sounds. <laughs> And there's other pieces of video that I shot where I speak and things are said which puts the video in a totally different context versus what you saw in the video about Ken the Brush Turkey and the giant hairy scary spiders who live down the holes. Turkey no, Turkey no, 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 but please Turkey, no Turkey, no, 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 oh phew, it got across the road, thank God for that. There's a lot of video of looking down spider holes that was never seen in the other two videos that looked down spider holes. There was something really unusual that I saw and it looks like pieces of the same spiders webbed into the side walls of these spider nests. I'll pull up some stills here and you can have a very good close look at what's going on here. I've looked at this many times and I'm sort of always thinking to myself it looks like mum or dad has been webbed into the side wall as a strange spider memento of who's in the family. But I might be totally wrong, the spider experts will tell me what's going on there. Another really unusual thing that I captured when you watch the video and we get to the raw audio section of it is what you don't hear. We often make a lot of noise when there's lots of cicada noise during summertime, it's just a reminder you do have some really big cicada years with lots of broods of cicadas and occasionally you get a summertime where it's very quiet. I noticed it very early on in summer that there was very few cicadas, but I tell you what, a lot of people didn't have a clue. The other really peculiar thing is whenever I've made a video looking at nature things, so often they ping off on the content ID system as it sees other YouTubers deciding I'm going to take whole slabs of this video and turn it into mine. And of course the watermark means nothing once it's been cropped out of the other video. In the final third part of this video, I revisit the reserve where Ken the Brush Turkey's Turkey Mound is built. Ken's not there. It's the idle time of year for the Turkey Mound. It's the middle of May when I revisit the area. And hopefully I can show you there's still some very interesting things to look at in the reserve even though Ken the Brush Turkey is nowhere to be seen. We've been having a lot of rain and back at home I had a very, very nasty discovery in an outside kitchen at our house and that's going to be the video maybe after this one. Anyway, on with the B-roll. Come on Bubble, come down please. She actually might be obeying me for once, normally they just ignore you, the cats. And she's going to do that cat thing walking along the back fence. Oh, look who's going to join her. Teddy. Come on, Teddy. Use the back legs. Oh, Teddy failed. Teddy, come on, you got to learn how to get up there. That was embarrassing, wasn't it? Totally embarrassing. Little um, bush turkey chick doing what bush turkeys do. And I think that's why there's been... Absolutely no redback spiders in the backyard. I'm pretty sure they would clean them up real fast. That's really going for it. I notice with these birds, when they're distracted by food, I can get up quite close to them. Like I'm, I'm right next to this bird now. Maybe it's my new friend in life. Yeah. When they're distracted by lots of food, I'm not seen as a threat. Yeah, maybe this is such a friendly one, I have to give it a name. It could be the new pet in the backyard. Although that's going to really... <laughs> I just think Mummy is going to freak out. If she knew this was going on, it's all secret squirrel. We can't tell Mummy. Oh, it's getting worms there. Can't tell Mummy about this. She would frip and freak out. I told you they use the crossings. They're quite smart birds. Come, coop, 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 Good girl, off you go. 
I'm hoping Ken talks to us. There was a bit of talk there. Sometimes he's quite vocal, sometimes he's quite silent. There's something I've noticed on the turkey man here, and this really, really gets to the core of me and bugs me about. The suburb where I live, I don't know whether you can see what I can see there. Let me go in closer on what is on the turkey mound right there. Yeah, a wonderful dog owner likes to put the dog poop in a bag and then they just leave the bag laying around the suburb. You dare not say anything on the local Facebook or the local bush telly rag, the dog owners are going to bite your head off.
Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Little chicken. Little chicken. Little chicken wants the thing that Fluffy's at. Mm. Fluffy, that. Apple turnover is not yours. That's for little chicken. Little chicken, you can come over and get it if you want. Come on. Fluffy won't hurt you. Fluffy's friendly to you. You're very lucky. Because Fluffy doesn't know how to be a real cat. To ducking. Come on.
quick, quick, come on, come here. Come on. Here. The ducking. Come on. Here. Yummy. Come on. Come here. Here. Quick. Come and get it. Come and get it. I'm pretty sure I can talk turkey. This is a male brush turkey. Mm, 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 mm. I better brush up on my turkey. It's not really listening to me. Oh no, oh, no. it's going to do it again. <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, it's just, is it going to cross? Oh, it made it finally. I don't know how. Well, this is something a bit different. The male turkey, it's, um, we believe it's having a bath. It's dug a hole into the grass here and it's um, doing things like that. I'm right up next to it. It's uh, not scared of me at all. I've never seen this before. But it seems to be very happy in our place. Oh look, oh my god. Oh. oh! What the hell? Oh no! <gasps> turkey! 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 Oh no, oh no. Oh, phew! Oh no, Go god. girl, go go, and go, 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 keep going, keep going. That's an ominous warning sign right near where I saw the baby brush turkey. Snakes sighted recently in this area. Crikey's. This is a female brush turkey. Sometimes she'll walk with me when I'm walking in this part of the suburb. Looks like she's going to do that now. Uh, she's only a smaller variation. So she's young. They get much, much bigger than this. And she'll be scampering around looking for things to nibble on and scratch at. That's what they do. Uh, the mound where the male brush turkey is is not far from here. So maybe she was derived from that mound or, I mean, who really knows? I'm just making stuff up. But just to let you see the female. They haven't got that spectacular necklace that the males have. And often other birds will come down and swoop at these brush turkeys and harass them. And she'll probably scurry up to the road here. Lovely girl. Got a bit more growing to do before she's full sized.
Attached to the B-roll, I'll do an update of the reserve where I found a billion spider holes in the ground and where Ken the Brush Turkey has his miraculous mound. This is now May of 2024. And well, the first thing I notice is because Ken's not here raking up all the leaves off the ground, when I look at the ground here, there's a lot of leaf litter starting to build up. We've had a lot of rain. We're getting into the cooler months of the year. And what I came up here to look for was bandicoot activity and I think I found another cracking example of it and it's just down here. This is a really interesting bandicoot digging and I've got my ruler here today luckily because that's going to give us a scale of how deep this is but I can see the bandicoot's done the digging here but right next to it there's one of those spider holes right there and it's not a small one. This hole here is classic bandicoot activity that shape there is basically the shape of their head and this is a clanger because this is a really great deep bandicoot hole okay i'm in the hole here i'm gonna pull it out and we've got a whopping 10 inches and a centimeter that's about 25 and a half centimeters and with the light of my phone turned on i can take a peek down the hole the bandicoot dug to just see what mr or mrs bandicoot had for dinner last night and right nearby, this is another classic bandicoot digging. Look at this one here. Okay, got my ruler there. And look right nearby. Again, a funneled web hole. And that's not a small hole. What I find very interesting is the bandicoots don't take out all the spider holes. But I tell you what, they've harassed lots of them like this in this reserve. That's the latest bandicoot and spider hole I looked at. If you're wondering where bandicoots like to live, I don't have to look very far. That there would be bandicoot heaven they love environments like that now i understand what goes on in this small reserve here and i know what time of year it goes on one trail cam set up in the right position is going to capture a whole bunch of very interesting nocturnal activity i'll finish the video here and i'll show you ken the brush turkey's mount in its idle phase which is important to look at because it is different uh, we are heading into winter in australia of course the rest of the world in northern hemisphere is heading into summer and I always said I'd love to see a brush turkey chick emerge from the mound but there's something that I learned only by reading up about brush turkeys, scrub turkeys, whatever turkeys is the chicks are not dug out by the male turkey they have to dig themselves out of the mound here which I found to be quite miraculous let me wind back to some footage I've shot of Kenda brush turkey when he was here digging well into the mound he pokes his head into the mound and He's checking the temperature of the eggs. Remembering Ken is always regulating the temperature of the mound here by either adding leaf litter to the top or scraping it away. He does this tirelessly and relentlessly. Now, the thing that I noticed was those brush turkey chick eggs are dug well into the mound. And if it's true what I read online, that once the eggs hatch, the chicks have got to dig their way out of this giant compost heap. And I tell you what, I don't think that'd be a very comfortable task once you're out of an egg. I find that to be incredible. Apparently, the chicks are fully capable when they're out of the egg. Now, it's one thing to escape the mound, but then they've got to survive life outside of the mound. And I think that would be the trickiest thing of all. Another thing I really notice is, and now because the turkey mound is idle, and remember the turkey mound is just a giant pile of composting leaf litter, and Ken's no longer adding leaves to the top. It's a lot lower than what it was when he was here. It could easily be well, over half a metre lower now. It's a bit hard to gauge. Maybe I need to put some markers on the trees here. I can see some diggings here, and I would say that's bandicoots, because I certainly know the bandicoots have been very active here. And the other curious thing about the brush turkey mound is it's very much uh, an indicator to the surrounding environment, because the brush turkey drags up everything around here onto the mound, and it can drag up some Nice things, it can also drag up a lot of nasty things as well. And if I take a look in this spot here, I can see something very interesting here, we'll take a look at last. But anyway, unfortunately, and this is a very common thing I sadly see, it's a piece of glass. Okay, so broken glass and whatever gets scraped up onto the mound. There's a lot of rubbish when you have a closer look in the mound here. Because, you know, people dump rubbish in reserves. I'll put that in my pocket. Because I'm right next to a tennis center, guess what? There's a tennis ball here. It's been deferred. I dare say this has been up here quite some time. But again, it's indicative of the environment here. And there's one last thing we're going to take a look at. I might have to be a little bit careful with this. Okay, what have we got here? Am I going to regret picking this thing up? 
Be very careful. Come with me, sweetie. Let's take a look at you. Yeah. Okay, the, the first thing I'll say is, uh, I did look online, I believe it's a beetle larvae of some sort. It's got some whopping nippers there on the front. I'd hate to get my fingers near the nippers. That's why I keep rotating it away from my fingies. It's nice in the hand to touch. I tell you what, they make a feasty meal, this thing. <laughs> I tell you, maybe the bandicoots have been digging up these guys because it gives me a bit of an insight into what's going on here. But it's large, it's got some big nippers on it. I reckon those nippers would hurt if they got onto my skin. It keeps wanting to come around from the skin. Hmm. There's a closer look at the, the nippery area there. It's got legs on it. Yes, this is, remember this is larvae of, I believe, some beetle. But I didn't know that myself. It was the Google gods that helped me out there and I'm sure the audience will help me out any further on that one. It certainly wanted to come around and give me the nip. I'm being very careful. Don't worry, it survived that clumsy fall. How naughty of me to pick something like that out of nature and treat it with such disrespect. What I will do is put it carefully back onto the turkey mound before it has another go at me. You can tell me what that thing is. Ugh. And don't panic, it did land softly inside the turkey mound there. It's still alive. I haven't nailed it yet. Oh, this is magical. On the way out of the reserve, look what I noticed on the tree here. A stunning giant moth. Let's see if this beauty wants to play with me. It's completely stunning. You get a scale of it if I got my hand in there. Come on, little sweetheart. What are you up to, hey? You crawl onto my hand? Come on. Come on. That's a girl. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh my god, it's just completely and utterly stunning. Look at that. Just beautiful. I've got no idea what style of moth this is. There'll be some moth expert out there who'll tell us. Completely beautiful. And in that pattern there, on the right sort of tree, uh, you become completely invisible. Let's just take a look underneath this spectacular moth. Okay, there's underneath. Just keeping him or her attached to my hand there. Stunning. And I'll get Mother Nature reset here and I'll get Mrs. Moth or Mr. Someone's going to say it's a boy or a girl back on the tree here. Just totally stunning. Uh, a couple of nice finds in the reserve when Ken the brush turkey's not around. I love it. There we go. Ken the brush turkey's mound is even interesting when Ken's not here. And I can finish off the video by saying this. For me, winter is coming.